In topic six, we're going to be simplifying expressions using the laws of exponents. So this is a review of stuff you learned in algebra one. Here, um, if you look at our exponent, our a is our base because it's at the bottom and our exponent would be n. If you were to have something like this, two would be the base, three would be your exponent. You would read this two to the third power. The rule for zero exponents is anything to the zero power equals one. So even if you were to have like five to the zero power, you're still an your answer would still equal one. The product rule means when you're multiplying, you add exponents. So here we have x to the sixth times x to the tenth. You would add those two exponents together. When you're dividing, the rule is that you subtract exponents. So here we have x to the 8th divided by x squared. So we would subtract 8 minus 2 and get 6. And then the rule for a power of a power is that you multiply those two exponents. So when you have an exponent of an exponent, you multiply. So x to the 4th power to the 3rd power becomes 4 times 3, or x to the 12th. Let's look at some examples here. We're going to simplify using our laws. So here you would start with your coefficients, or 5 times negative 3. 5 times negative 3 equals negative 15. So in my answer, I'm going to put a negative 15. Then we're doing x to the 10th times x squared. Notice I'm doing like terms. The multiplication rule for exponents tells you that when you're multiplying, you add your exponents. So I'm going to add the 10 and 2, and that gives me x to the 12. So that goes in my answer. If you look at question 2, this reviews our division properties. So if you start with your coefficients, we have 10 divided by 2. That equals 5, so I'm going to put that in my answer. And then after that, when you're dividing, you subtract exponents. So x to the 6 over x to the 5th becomes x to the 6 minus 5, or x to the 1. So when you're dividing, you subtract. Remember, you're invisible math, so this 1 can be imaginary. So this is the same as just an x. So my answer would be 5x. On the next problem, we have a power of a power. So we have to give that power to everything. So I begin with 2 to the third power, or 2 times 2 times 2, which becomes 8. Then we have x to the ninth to the third power. When you have a power of a power, you multiply. So that becomes 9 times 3, or x to the 27. Next, I'm going to do y to the fourth power, and we have it to the third. Again, when you have a power of power, you multiply. So 4 times 3, we get x to the 12th. Sorry, this should be a y. So y to the 12th. And that would be our simplified expression. Our next one is reviewing the multiplication rules. We're just combining more into one. So I have negative 10 times negative 3, which becomes positive 30. Then I have x squared times x to the fourth. Remember, when you multiply, you add exponents. So 2 plus 4 gives me 6. Next, we have y times y cubed. If it doesn't have an exponent, you put an imaginary 1. So this becomes 1 plus 3, or y to the 4th power. And then here we also have a z. Since there's no other z, that just stays z to the 6th power. Our next example is doing division again. So we start with dividing negative 30 by 6, which gives us negative 5. Then we take x to the 10th divided by x. Remember, if there's no exponent, you put an imaginary 1. When you're dividing, the rule is to subtract. So 10 minus 1 will give us x to the 9th power. Then we have our y to the 8th over y cubed. When you're dividing, again, you subtract. So 8 minus 3 will give us y to the 5th power. 
Now, if we look at our last example, it's going to combine all these rules together. I'm going to start by simplifying the inside. And then once we have our inside small as possible, then we can square it. So on the inside, if you look at the numerator, there's actually two x's out there. So I have x to the ninth and x cubed. We can actually combine those. Remember when you're multiplying, so in the numerator, they're multiplying everything, you add. So x to the ninth and x cubed, if we add those, that becomes x to the 12th. So my numerator is going to become 8x to the 12th, y to the 20th. And I'm going to leave everything else the same. Now I'm going to start to simplify the inside of my problem. The inside's division. So if I do 8 divided by 2, I get 4. Then if I do my x to the 12 over x to the 10, remember when you're dividing, you subtract exponents. So that becomes x squared. And then y to the 20th over y cubed. If I subtract that, I end up getting y to the 17th. And now we're going to do everything squared. So I'm just going to erase a little bit so that I have room to do this. So now I'm going to give everything the little 2. So 4 squared, or 4 times 4 is 16. So my answer is going to have a 16. Then x squared to the second power. Remember, when you have a power of power, you multiply. So that becomes x to the fourth. And then y to the 17th squared. Again, I'm going to multiply. So 17 times 2 will give me y to the 34th. So my answer is 16x to the 4th, y to the 34th. I'll write it right here.